What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Listen, I don't know about you, but I've been very down today. That was a shoddy performance overall for Leicester. And what makes matters worse, the nail was hammerly, hammerly battered into the coffin. Hammerly isn't even a word. Absolutely nailed shut. Everton, Forest, both getting wins. I don't know where we go from here. Not only are we playing catch up, there's no fight. No passion, no, not one of those players were running like yesterday. I didn't see anyone with energy. Dennis Pratt looked bloody knackered. Fair enough, he hasn't had game time, but the team just looks dry, drained. Don't want to play for the badge. There's a few players that I could pick out that where you go, okay, KDH, you know, if he come on, you can see he wants to play for the badge. He might not be great, make, make, make mistakes, but you can see the energy in him. He's playing for the badge. Luke Thomas gets stick from the City fans, gets stick from me. Not good enough, blah, blah, blah. Plays for the badge. He'll give you everything he's got. A lot of those players, yes, Yuri Tielemans, captain, didn't even come out. Didn't even come out to clap the travelling fans. I mean, you have to do it. I know you're going to get hounded, but you've got to take the stick. You're the captain. You've got to take the stick. The players have got to take the stick. But to not come out and clap the fans, they don't care. They're going. They're all going. Every single one of them. We're going to have none, nothing left. Only the few players... They're going to stay. The likes of your KDHs, your Thomases, maybe a couple of others might come back, like your Hamza Chowdhury's and your all Brighton's when we're in the Championship. But you won't see an Ndidi, I don't think you're going to see a Sumori. I don't think you'll see a James Madison or a Yuri Tielemans. I don't even think you'll probably see Kalichi and Acho because he's had enough of being second fucking best or third best. This team is done. We're finished. All that money that's been put into the club, the finances, the, the, the install base of the training facility, the, the debt wiped away, all wasted because you look at the wages. Ryan Bertrand's on £3.7 million a year. Vestergaard, another one. £3.9 million a year. Doing what? Show me where... In the world, you can earn £3.9 million being that shit at a job, and I'll take it. Um, we're dead. We're finished. I can't see how the hell are we going to beat Liverpool. Where the hell are we going to get points against Newcastle? And West Ham might still be interested. Who knows? But the point is, even if we win all three games, we've still got to chase Forest and Everton. Imagine if they get their wins. We're fucked. Regardless, we're, we're dead. Over and out. I shall see you on the next video. I don't know. Let me know how you're, how you're feeling in the chat. I, I, I just... In the comments, let me know how you are feeling today. It's, it's peeing it down the rain. It's absolutely horrendous out here. I'm on the school run, about to pick the kids up. And all day I've took stick about Leicester City. Leicester City from Forest fans and... Oh, I just don't know where to turn. Why was Mendy left out of the squad, Dean Smith? Why is Mendy left out again? What does that guy have to do? Every time he's played, he's been great. We didn't have a middle yesterday. We got battered in every piece of the pitch against Fulham. They, they absolutely ragged us around ragged. Castagna, what on earth was he doing? Was he even... Did he even check in? At the stadium. What, what? Where was Castagna yesterday? I'm not calling individuals out. I don't want to do that. I'll stop. I've already missed that pen. We weren't in it anyway. I know we weren't in it. We really was not in it. But missing that pen, you, you just don't know. You could have come back. But 4-0 down. Oh. 
Can you imagine what Newcastle are going to do to us? Newcastle put, was it five past Spurs in the first, what? Was it 25 minutes or something stupid? I, I dread to think. I dread to think. I, I just, I hope it was just, I know it's been a bad season, but I hope M Monday, yes, I hope it was a bad day at the office. I really do. The thing is, before the game kicked off, I actually was quite positive. And I thought, we could get a draw here. Might get a win. I thought, oh, we could get something. We might get something. Rain's calm in now. And so am I. So am I. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, I'm going to try and do some ranting videos like this more. Because I know you guys like it. So I'm going to do it. But, uh. Where, where do we go from here? If we do go down. It's been 10 years. 9 years. Championship. Premier League. Survival. Premier League winners. You know. Ranieri. Puel. Shakes, shaky. Blah, 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 blah. FA Cup win. Champions League visits. Europa League visits. It's been a very good run. It's been a very, very good run. But where, what happens to Leicester now? From the top, looking in, they had time to get rid of Rodgers. Rodgers is to blame for a lot of this. I respect him for what he did for the club at the time, but he was not on the. It was he needs to go in January really. I mean, he needs to go before them, a lot of people will say, but to survive, I think we should have got someone like Sean Dyche in, in the end. I don't know. It's too late now. Three games to go. In. Look, I'll leave you this. We've done it before. The Great Escape. Let's let's just hope it goes to the last last day and something happens magical. Let's just hope because that's all we've got left is hope. <sighs> Follow me at Leon Score Chappy. I'm in the description of the video. All my socials are in there. Subscribe, smash the likes, people. Let me know how you're feeling right now. Are you feeling as bad as me? Drop them in the comments. So see you all in a bit, guys.